So you just got home from work, everyone's hungry, you're trying to obey your meal program, count those calories and do just right, but you don't know what to do? I've got your answer. Stay tuned to Cambridge Foods by Isaac as we make a great pressure cooker pepperoni ziti pasta dish. Okay friends, so you've already got to see the list um, of the ingredients that you need for this recipe. I actually took the time to just chop everything up off camera. No one needs to see me cutting vegetables. So I've got my pressure cooker warmed up here and I'm going to get started. And the very first thing that we're going to do is add that butter. So again, this is about a tablespoon or so. You don't need too much because this is just to um, fry. There we go. Listen to that sizzle. And this is just so that we can steam up our vegetables, get them nice and caramelized, the onions, the pepper, and the garlic. So now that that's going, we're going to add our first ingredient. So first thing we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is add our onions in. And don't worry, I washed my hands. Okay, we're just going to stir this around a little bit. And we chop the onions down a little bit. You know, we cut them as little pieces, but they stick together as layers. So we're just going to hack them up a little bit more so they separate. And this will just take a moment. See, we got a big piece there. This is great, especially if you like thick, chunky tomato sauces. This is the way to do it. Fresh ingredients, you know what's going in it. No surprise corn syrup or extra sodium, things like that. Just proper, fresh ingredients. So we've got our onion going, and now I'm going to add in the green pepper. Now, some people aren't keen on green peppers. You can use any color bell pepper you want. I like green pepper. I'm a big, big fan of green pepper. So in it goes. You can see some of the onions already starting to uh, brown in there, which is great. Just keeping it going. And we're just going to let that go for a minute. I've got a little overhead light behind me, so I might actually use my backup light. I'm typically a one-man show, so let's see what this does. Okay, that's not bad. It might actually be a little too much light, but we'll use it for now. And again, you just want to stir. That butter is melted everywhere. Give it a nice coating. You can see the steam coming out. So pressure cookers are wonderful because they make really good meals that would normally take a long time to prepare. They get them done so fast. Basically, once we fry up the veggies and we throw in our ingredients, we put the lid on, we set it for six minutes, and it's just so fast, it's like healthy fast food. And everybody loves a good pasta dish. So, look at that steam. All right, we'll just give that another second or so. And then we're gonna toss in our garlic. Ooh, it's starting to smell really good in here. Okay, we see the onions are caramelized pretty well. Let's add our three cloves of minced garlic. And great Italian food includes a good amount of garlic. 
I've got three minced cloves here. I'm going to stir all that around. Let that cook up for a moment. A neat trick you can do with uh, garlic, if you want fresh garlic, you don't like the store bought minced garlic, buy a few cloves, put it into a um, blender or food processor. You can put it in a little container and have it for whenever you want it instead of having to sit and chop it all up. That's what I like to do. I have a little uh, salsa jar that I washed out and used that for my garlic because I use a lot of garlic, so great way to keep that going. You see here the garlic is already starting to brown a little bit too. So we're going to add our next ingredient. Oops, I have a little more garlic in that dish than I thought of. That's okay. Now cook with the rest of it. So the next thing we're going to add is our crushed tomatoes. Now this is crushed tomatoes with Italian herbs. Let me just scoop the rest out there. There's always a little bit left over in the can. And this is where it starts to bubble. We're going to stir all that together. And things are really smelling awesome now. And look how quiet it got. Just adding that moisture into that sizzle. So we've got our sauce in here. Next thing we're going to add is our pasta. And yes, you can see things bubbling already. And you saw it in the video, I'm wearing a white shirt, so I'm trying to keep my distance while I open things up. Now we're going to use about a half a box of the ziti, so let's just pour that in. And that's about half a box, maybe a little more. It's not an exact science. So we'll just mix all that together, get that going. Okay, and now we're going to put in that whole package of pepperoni. Now I will say, be careful with the pepperoni because sometimes they put in a little silica gel packet to preserve the freshness. So just be aware of that. And yes, it likes to stick together. Try to separate it as best you can. Of course, we're going to stir everything. And yeah, I think I just dropped one on the floor. That's all right. One less calorie going into you, right? Okay. So we're going to add this, and we're almost done here with the pepperoni. This is taking the place of basically, let's say hamburger if you were making an American chop suey, which hamburger you know is so loaded with fat and calories. Even though this is sliced pepperoni, you're putting less of this in than you would the hamburger, so it's a good way to cut back on the fat and the extra calories. So let's give this a good stir. Try to separate some of that pepperoni there. And you see how fast this is coming along. We're practically done here. Last thing I'm going to do before I add some extra spices is we're going to add two cups of chicken stock. And the chicken stock helps to cook the pasta it has a little bit of sodium in it, so it gives that little salted pasta water taste to it, which is good. So now we're going to mix that all together. Again, give everything a good stir. Again, chance to separate some more of that pepperoni so that everyone gets a good share of pepperoni in the bowl. Okay, and look, you see all the uh, veggies floating up to the top there too. Isn't that so delicious looking? That's great. So now I'm going to take my big container of Italian seasoning. I'm just going to give it a good shake around the pot. That's probably, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of herbs if, if that. And again, stir it in. Get it all well blended. And things are smelling pretty heavenly in this house right now. It's going to get even better once the steam comes from the pressure cooker when it's all closed up. But that's it. That's the whole 
the whole kit and caboodle. Now I'm going to put the lid on this and make sure that I've got my pressure valve sealed. So put that on, lock it in, we're good to go. What I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to set this on my pressure cooker. Now every pressure cooker is different, so follow your manufacturer's instructions. But I am going to set this for six minutes. When it's all set and done, ready to go, I will show the grand reveal. Now before we uh, get to that point, let me just talk about the nutrition in this, the uh, calorie count. That's our biggest concern. The entire pot will come out to roughly 2,068 calories. Now there's enough in here to make six good sized servings. So you divide that by six, that's 345 calories a plate. That's great, that's well within the limits for the Cambridge diet. We wanna have anywhere from 400 to 800 calories a day, depending on the type of plan we're following. So this falls great within those limits. Um, maybe later on you can even add a little Parmesan cheese on the top if you like that with your pasta. So um, again, a great solution. It cooks really quick and you have a great meal ready for you and your loved ones and you can obey your program. So for now, I'm going to turn this camera off. When it's all ready to go, I will show you the reveal and we'll plate it and enjoy. The uh, meal is ready to eat. So let's release the pressure now and enjoy our meal. You can see that steam coming out. All of the flavors that we were uh, cooking in there, they've all infused into the pasta and they've infused um, into the sauce, the meat, everything's all blended together. This is gonna be one super delicious meal. Now we just need to wait a moment to let all that pressure out. Cool thing too is all the odors from this are blowing into the air in the house. It's gonna smell like, a, like an Italian restaurant in no time. It's gonna be great. So we'll just give it one more minute. All right, it's starting to slow down. Okay, every pressure cooker has two valves. It has the main steam valve, which is what's venting right now. There's also a safety valve that's going to tell you when it's safe to open the lid. This is something on all electric pressure cookers. I've never used the stovetop one. I know there's extra valves and gauges you need to set. I highly recommend that you get an electric pressure cooker. Prices have come way down. You can get them for, I think, even under $100 now. So, okay, our valve has stopped, and we're going to do our reveal now. It's plated and ready to go. And actually, I have a guest with me, so we're both going to enjoy a great dish right now. And here I am today, joined by my friend Chris, and we're going to enjoy that six-minute pressure cooker meal, the uh, Italian ziti with pepperoni, a nice twist to American chop suey, low calorie that your whole family can enjoy. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, stick around because we have more videos coming up. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.